Do you like traveling? Do you like sending money around the world? Use wise. Be smart. Don't use your bank. If you use your bank, I was doing that before. I didn't know they took so many fees. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Using wise, I think I'm saving a thousand euros every year. Just because I do a few payments, I can use my Android phone to do the payments or it works on I, Apple Pay or I can use my WISE card also, of course. And this WISE card is optional. So you can ask them to send you the card at seven euros and then you have this Visa debit, you know. Otherwise, you can use your Android Pay instantly. You can sign up right now. Use my link. Thank you very much. Use my link. Go to the shop. Boom shakalaka. You can use your Android phone to do the payment. You can use your Apple Pay to do every payment. And here's where it's amazing. The conversion fee. They are pretty much on Google. How often do you go on Google and check for conversion rates about this currency and that currency and the other currency and here and there? And if you have a customer in another country that needs to send you some money, they need to pay you, give them your local US bank account. Boom. They give you a US bank account, local. They give you an EU bank account, Euro bank account. In Belgium, all of Europe can pay you to Euro directly. They give you a bank account in, I think it's nine or something different countries around the world. You even get an Australian bank account, Romanian. Uh, I think there's a few other countries too. And this is an easy way to get people to pay you locally. You know, and uh, otherwise, if you need to send money around the world, you can send to 50 or 100 countries. You can send money to India. How often, maybe, do you need to send money to India? Do you have a customer in India? Or do you have a, a, a somebody working for you in India and you need to send them some money? Use the wise. They take, let's say you send $1,000, they might take $3 commission. With your bank, it's probably $20, $30, maybe $40, $50. It's completely amazing. Let's say you have a $5,000 payment. That's crazy. But let's say you get a $5,000 payment. Why is it going to take you 20 something dollars? If you do it the normal way through your bank, they might take 150. It's completely a huge difference. What is that? That's like seven times cheaper, right? So um, I've been using WISE for a couple of years and I'm really impressed. It used to be called TransferWise and I didn't really pay attention to it before. And suddenly I saw this WISE. And if I need to send money to somebody in another currency, it's so easy. You just click. You say, I want to send money from Euro to Dollar, for example, to, from Europe to the US. You say, I want to send 500 Euro. Boom, they give you the exact amount and you can compare it with your Google conversion fee. It's pretty much what it says on Google. It's crazy to take one or two dollars conversion fee and you transfer it from your local bank, put it on, immediately it's sent over to the US, for example, or the other way, right? Um, it's amazing. Don't use PayPal. Never use PayPal again. PayPal is a complete scam. Like if I get payment in Euro from PayPal, but I need to put it on another currency, a bank account, the transfer to conversion fee is nearly 10%. It's at least six, seven, eight percent. It's completely crazy with the conversion fee and on top of that, their own fee. Wise barely has a fee. It's pretty much, I always think of Wise as being free. It's nearly free. And um, so it's always use your Wise email and tell people, send me money to my Wise email. Don't use your PayPal email. Do it on Wise. And then all the money from your Wise, you can put it directly in your bank account. Very tiny little fee small fee nearly it's free it's not free of course but it's very very small don't use wise as a bank account right um, don't consider it like your us bank account or euro bank account because there's no fdic insurance you know they're not going to insure like hundred thousand dollar or whatever they do in the us uh, if wise goes bankrupt hopefully they don't go bankrupt but uh, just leave a few hundred or a few thousand maybe dollars in and just use it for your payments and the rest you leave it on your home bank account and if you need more you just add a little bit more it's like a prepaid debit card but that's perfect for traveling travel save money when you travel buy your flight tickets using the wise and you can sometimes on some websites you know if you uh, 
buying flight tickets and you try to con change the currency, it might be cheaper in a different currency. So just choose the WISE card and pay in whichever currency is the cheapest. Sometimes, for example, if I'm on EasyJet, I love EasyJet. EasyJet is amazing and you can fly all over Europe for 20 euros, you know? You need to check out the EasyJet. But the cheapest ticket price is the destination country or the departure country. So, you know, don't use your, your other country bank account card. Just use the wise in the local currency that's the cheapest. And, you know, spend a little effort checking where you can save money. That's how you do. So thanks for checking out my link. There's also a business wise account. And I think the business has a bunch of things like um, APIs and getting paid through bank accounts and a bunch of stuff like that. So if you're a business, you can consider the business. Otherwise, just get a personal bank account. Uh, personal wise, it's free. You just sign up, they take a photo of your ID or your passport, you send it to them. Maybe they ask you for a selfie kind of photo through the app and a few minutes you get the wise, you can immediately start using it in your Android Pay. Immediately use it in your iPhone. You don't even need, it's optional. You know, you can have this card, but it's totally optional. Seven euro, I think, something like that. You can order a card, two, three days later, it arrives in your mailbox. Then you can use that as your physical Visa debit card, right? Seven euro, one time fee, that's it. You can use it forever until it breaks, right? Otherwise, just use your Android and then you can set up virtual cards. If you buy stuff on weird website, a weird subscription on the internet, or um, you, you want to buy something for somebody else, go in your wise, take a virtual card, it's free. You use the virtual card and then you can freeze it. So you, you don't have any risk that this card number is going to be used for something else because you freeze, you froze, you paid exactly the $10 you need, boop, you freeze it after, you can unfreeze it if you need to pay again, and then refreeze it, very simple to use, and just set up another virtual card, as many as you want. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching, and also you can share it with your partner, uh, your friend, or something, if you want them to pay with you wise, then you can just let them pay one through their phone, they can add it to their phone too, or they can you, you can just get an extra card, you know, it's very simple, and other people can use it if you wanna, you know, share your money around, and uh, if you want to support my YouTube channel, you can send me, you can, of course, you can click down here and uh, support my YouTube channel, right? But YouTube takes 30% commission, that's fine. Otherwise, just send me directly on my WISE, and here's my WISE email, right? Charbax at gmail.com, that's my WISE, it's very simple. And it's free, no conversion, no fees, so fantastic. So thanks a lot for watching, and please consider WISE.